Um, second, second recording. Um, the last card we have here is the Five of Wands. So, competition. So, with the Five of Wands, I feel like you know that the world, for some reason, the world you wish to be in, there's a lot of other energies around you that are also, um, that are also, uh, it feels like representing or desiring similar things as you. This, this is the thing, Leo. In this world, there's a lot of freaking people, especially if you happen to be in an industry or a community or a place where there's, where you're trying to build, uh, your, 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 not your identity, but maybe so your, your social identity, your, I feel like this could revolve around people who are in the industry, um, in pop culture, in the public eye. And there's other people who are also going to do similar things if you're an artist or creative. Um, but the thing is, nobody is like you. Nobody, nobody's like you. There's room for everyone. I see it as a collaboration more than a competition. I see it. You're you're going to be the the um the you're the most mature one because you're actually gonna lead the others. You're and this is something that maybe in the past where we had the five of swords is now becoming the five of wands because you're the top wand. You're the one who has the most experience, who has the most knowledge, who has the most um, talent or skill. So instead of walking into that situation, like who do I have to compete with? You're not, they're not on your level. You're, you've attained more. Uh, you're a higher level than they are. So the beautiful thing is, is that I feel like with your energy and your strength and your power that you've grown and attained and identified, you're being asked and prepared by spirit, by your higher soul, that to know that you're ready to step back into the room proudly, self-assuredly. Um, I see that your self-assurance, your confidence was, was, was tapped when you had to leave the space because, because this, your, your self certainty, your self-assuredness, your confidence is created by this embodiment of who you know you are, true self, and being of service to the world. And in this way, you'll actually become the leader of those other energies around you, not their equal and not their ruler. <laughs> Leo's like, yep, they're ruler. Yes, they're, they're somebody that they um, can follow, somebody that shows them how to do things correctly. Somebody that's teaching somebody else or others or a whole group of others. Like you're going to, you need to, if I hope this is making sense, cause I, I'm picking up that in the energy. I just don't having trouble communicating it. Um, to be able to step back into the room as the top dog, as the one who actually has already passed, uh, graduated, accomplished it all. These other elements are actually looking at you um, with a lot of admiration. Don't be fooled that that they are not. They are not your competition. You are much more elevated than they are. So I see you being able to ring those energies in and to use it in your advantage to be able to um, teach them, guide them, school them on how it is that they're meant to to act and to show up. And you'll find that there actually isn't any kind of betrayal or harm coming out of it. There isn't any um, intentional, uh, there isn't any intentional uh, sense of uh, somebody's trying to, 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 to tear you down. I feel like this is the alchemy element, and this is gonna help you step into this creatorship role that you're meant to be in. Um, it's it's really beautiful, really powerful. Um, it is going to require you to um, to definitely embody who you are, your true self, to love others as you love yourself, and to love others as the as the divine being you are. Um, and I don't mean to love the conflict and give energy into those who are, who are wasting their time, the, the, the peanut gallery, the, the, 
the solace. <laughs> That's awful to say. Just to take your rightful place back on your throne, Leo. I'm going to pull a heart healing card for you guys. So these heart healing cards are really beautiful. They contain energy in them. They contain symbols, light language, and they're really, really powerful healings. Heart healing card for Leo, please. Heart healing card for Leo, please. Heart healing card for Leo. All right. We got belief. So, I'm going to tell you what from the book. So, just allow yourself to look at this image. All thoughts, all thoughts originate from the void, the creator's womb, the place where no thing manifests into reality. The pure thoughts released from the void move upwards to our consciousness. During this passage, they can become mutated. Or distorted an event can trigger a mutation of the original and pure thought eliciting an emotion and initiating a behavior that leads to harmful consequences or dis-ease we talk about the events as though they are the problem however the real issue is likely to be the altered pure creative thought that changed our emotions behaviors and vibrancy the belief card creates a space to identify limiting beliefs that may be causing issues in the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. The limiting beliefs can be a hindrance, like a puppy holding onto us when we want to walk, or it may be like a giant foot applying a little pressure on our head, enough to depress our energy and hinder forward advancement. As you become aware of beliefs, Focus on them. Do not fight them or try to be positive or argue with them. Recognize what the belief is and allow the vibration in this belief card to transmute it into the truth from spirit. Ask to know the original, pure truth of you before an event triggered a mutated or altered truth to the now limiting belief. Knowing the truth of yourself becomes your power to walk in the reality of higher consciousness. Let's read that part again. Knowing the truth of yourself becomes your power to walk in the reality of higher consciousness. True self-consciousness, guys. Do you see similarities? If we are arguing strongly or having difficulty letting a belief go, that belief may have a secondary gain. It may be easier holding on to a belief no matter how much discomfort it causes to avoid dealing with a deeper issue. Another card in conjunction with belief might bring further thoughts, insights, and freedom. We can struggle with releasing beliefs because it appears to have an element of truth. However, there's a big difference with the liberating truth and a belief draining our energy and preventing us from easily taking a step forward. Ask whether the thought is in fact yours or someone else's. So before we close this reading, Leo, I'm going to ask to you now to identify one belief system or belief that you carry that doesn't feel so great. And ask right now before we, this reading is over while, while I'm talking, did that belief originate with you I hear hell no or somebody else cut the cord cut let that energy go we're gonna fill that space with gold Thank you, Leo. Love you. Ciao.